I want to tell you about uh, the origin of the song called Donovan. Okay, it started off with a, uh, not in our typical fashion, actually started off with a, a groove that I had on the piano. And uh, Jay liked it. And we, uh, I, I don't know whether you came up with the melody, you probably did. But uh, anyway, the thing is that... Some of it, it but had I... A, it had a kind of a... You know, it had a really nice pocket right away, and I had thought, uh, rather than having some typical intro uh, of, a, you know, four-bar intro or some boring thing like that, that it, since we were starting to really form this unexpected, unpredictable jar thing, we uh, uh, knocked around, we, we decided it had to be really unique. And so I came up with this sort of ballad-sounding intro that you would never expect it would go into Call Donovan. And we, we sent it to our friend Tim Hossman, who lives in Cambria, who's an orchestrator, among one of the many things he is. Very good one, by the and, way. And he, uh, you know, he really liked what we were doing and all that kind of thing. And uh, so, I don't know whether he suggested it or, or we suggested it. I don't it, know. But he ended up orchestrating what I did on piano. With a full orchestra. Full orchestra. So when it got right up to where the groove started, uh, then it went cold into piano, bass, drums, and guitar. And, uh, and so it was really effective. And the thing, uh, that, I mean, how this happens to me once in a while. In this particular case, uh, the, uh, the lyric, Vermouth Cassis. <laughs> Just That's the opening line. That's the opening line. I mean, it, it's some sort of liqueur, I know. But uh, it, it was like, Vermouth Cassis across the face. It's like somebody throwing a, a drink in your face. And I thought, well, that'll lead to something. I don't know what. And so, <laughs> so uh, it, you know, sometimes, and this is, I don't know, I, I hate to, everybody thinks that songwriting is such, you know, we really know what we're going to do. All we do is just kind of fill in. Sometimes I start off, I have no idea where I'm going. I just start writing words. And in the case of Call Donovan, next thing I know, the next line kind of fit, and the next line kind of fit, and the next thing I knew, oh, this song's about a guy named Donovan, who's this heroic guy that you call whenever you're in this impossible situation. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the way it happens. Some, you know, I didn't set off to say, hey, I think we should write a song called Call Donovan, you know. How so, in the hell do you come up with that? I mean, it's like... Out of nowhere, I mean, it's, it's very similar to jazz. In jazz, I get it. You know, you'll know this. It's, a, it's very much the jazz mind, where you basically throw yourself out into a song and know that your craft or whatever you, all the stuff you've learned is gonna keep you from crashing to the ground. Yeah. Crashing into a musical brick wall. Yeah. So uh, that's and so for me, I do it lyrically or you know, sometimes melodically. So. Anyway. Okay, so this song also has some interesting effects. Uh, once again, our buddy Tim. Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't mention this in the first video uh, uh, regarding Cure Kid. But Tim, we gave him a percentage of the writers. Even though he didn't have anything to do with actually writing the tune, he did set me up to play that D minor, D minor, major 7 thing you know, for the song. If it yeah. wasn't for him finding the patch and playing it that day in my house, in my studio, we would have never have written that song. Never. So Tim is a songwriter on that record with us. Yeah. Okay, and then the, the, he was doing us a favor on, on Call Donovan. I mean, we're all close friends, the three of us. So on Call, Call Donovan, we're orchestrating the intro with a full orchestra using samples that, are sound, that sound very good. I mean, when you listen to the song, you can hear it. And, but he also did a couple other things for us in this song that are really cool. Um, there's a point where you just hear footsteps and then you hear a door slam. Now, Rand said they may be samples he came up with. I think it was Tim that came up with them. No big deal one way or another. Let me get out of the important one. It doesn't matter. Yeah. At the end of the song, he came up with this cool string line and he has this vocal program that he could mix a choir program that he could make speak words and he would make it speak Donovan. Well, yeah. these bump, 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 I don't know what the notes were, I know the wrong notes, uh, that the string line's playing and it was like, um, you know, not staccato, but they weren't sustained. 
it, they're a little staccato-ish. Bottom line is, it's a great wine. It's a, he just came up with this tasty thing. Whose who sample was it of the car starting and taking off? I can't remember. Well, that was in the right. end, too, but that has to do with Donovan must have showed up, fixed up, and then split. Yeah. Either that or the guy's going to see Donovan. You know, I don't know how the lyric, how does the uh, lyric make that work? Let me see. I'd have to look it up. I mean, this is really artsy, crafty kind of stuff we're doing, and we just hope so oh, no, much. Is, what the, is that? The, the, the car uh, drives up, and... Uh, so the door slams and the guy rushes up to the door and the door slams in his face and it starts the last verse which is when I arrive two hours late she slams the door right in my face. Ah, so ah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's the, the, the twist. Yeah. Anyway, it's a very artsy song. Song. We didn't write a bridge when we were together working on this. Uh, even if we were, I don't know if we were together. I don't think we were. No, I don't think so. So it was long distance, you know, via files back and forth, audio files. So the bridge, nobody was coming up with a bridge that was really working. So I messed around one night, and after nights and nights of, uh, at least two nights of coming up with nothing, mm -hmm. I played something really different that was not normal. And I was so burned out, I didn't think Rand would like it, but I, I had to send it to him just because, okay, maybe he can make it better. Maybe he can do something with it to make it better. So I sent the bridge to him, and I thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. And uh, it, it was perfect, and what was strange about it, in a good way, was in order to add harmonies to the melody, I was going to have to do these superhuman... Um, <laughs> voices. I, yeah, uh, I, I had to create uh, some artificial voices to, to, to do it, which kind of made it even more strange and more Donovan and more, Donovan more jar. More, more jar. jar, well played. So there you have it. Yeah. So let's move on to the next song, which is Esquire. Is that cool with you, Ryan? Exactly. Man? 